you have to prove the Cramer's rule. So Cramer's rule you have to prove by elimination method. How you have to say that x is equal to dx upon d, y is equal to dy upon d, that you have to prove. If you want to prove that time, you have to use the elimination method. In elimination method, what you have to do, that you have to see. Here, this, a, this one is the a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. These are the two simultaneous equations. Here, in the same equations I will write here, a1x plus b1y is equal to c1 and a2x plus b2y is equal to c2. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. This is also equation 1, this, this is also equation 2. Means same equation for your understanding. I am writing this separately. This one is, this, these are the two separate equations and these are the two separate equations. So, to prove the Cramer's rule, what you have to do, that you have to keep in your mind. You have to equate the coefficient of y once and you have to equate the coefficient of x once. Means once you have to equate the coefficient of x and once you have to equate the coefficient of y. Here, if you want to equate the coefficient of y, that time, which, which one is the coefficient of y? Downside equation b2, you have to write here b2. Which one is the coefficient of y in upside equation b1 you have to write here b1 and you have to say that b2 multiplied by equation 1 means equation 1 multiplied by b2 and equation 2 multiplied by b1 and you have to in the same sign you have to do the subtraction operation in the same manner you have to if you want to equate this coefficient of x here at that time multiply the coefficient of x to equation 1 at that time multiply this by a2 and coefficient of x a1 you have to multiply this by the equation 2 a1 means you have to say that this equation 1 multiplied by a2 and equation 2 multiplied by a1 I am writing this equation 1 multiplied by a2 equation 2 multiplied by a1 and you have to here this, these are the same signs in same sign you have to do the multiplication means same sign you have to do the multiplication means in same sign you have to do the addition uh, in same sign you have to do the subtraction so you have to do the subtraction here in between these equations by the elimination method you have to solve same way here same sign here you have to remove the coefficient of y here you have to remove the coefficient of x and you have to make the equations multiplying after multiplying b2 b2 multiplied by a1 is equal to a1 b2 x this this will come uh, b1 b2y and this will come c1 b2 i am writing these things see alphabetically b will come first after that c will come so here multiply multiply equation 2 multiply equation 2 by b1 means b, uh, a2 multiplied by uh, b, uh, uh, b1 multiplied by a2 means a2 b1 x this you have to multiply it by what b1 so b1 b2y and b1 c2 like this after that you, you, once you will give the minus sign, you have to change the sign of the downside equation. This plus become minus, plus become minus, plus become minus. This one is the like term having the uh, opposite sign. B1, B2, Y, B1, B2, Y you have to cancel. This will come A1, B2, X. This, this you have to write here. This minus sign you have to write here. This term you have to write here. After that, you have to write this term here. Minus sign, after that you have to write here. This term you have to write here. Here if you will observe this is the this, here is the x x term here is also x term you have to take out the x term common if I will take out x term common co common at that time you have to write remaining terms in the bracket a1 b2 as it is you have to write minus sign as it is a2 b1 you have to write as it is x will come here and these terms you have to write like this only same manner b2 c1 minus b1 c2 and after that in between x and in this bracket multiplication sign you have to transpose this bracket this bracket you have to transpose downside multiplied by bracket becomes divided by this bracket means this becomes divided by and x is equal to x is equal to you will get this things but if this b2 c1 b2 c1 will come at that time 1 will come up 2 will come down you, you will write this as c1 because b2 c1 means c1 and b2 at that time b2 c1 will come so b2 c1 in determinant form you have to write 
these things. The value is given from the value to write the determinant. One will come up, all the one will come up, all the two will come down. So B two C one means C one upside B two in in cross you have to write. Or B one C two B one upside you have to write C two here you have to write. A one B two A one upside you have to write B two in cross you have to write. Then A two B one B one upside you have to write A two you have to write down. Miss two will come down, one will come up in this way you have to write the and this is the Value of x because here you will you will not observe the coefficient of x so this is dx and this is the constant term d here constant term will not come so you have to say that d that's why x is equal to I will say that dx upon d. everybody understand in the same manner what you have to do you have to equate the coefficient of x so multiply equation one by a two a two multiplied by a one means a one a two x This, then a two b one by and a two multiplied by c one a two c one in the same manner multiply this equation two by coefficient of this x a one a one a two x a one a two x a one b two y then you have to say that a one c two once you will give the minus sign change the sign like this these are the co x coefficients are like terms are in the opposite sign you have to strike you have to write a two b one by minus a one b two y is equal to a two c1 minus a1 c2 like this here y term is common so you have to take out the y term common at that time this will come a2 b1 minus a1 b2 multiplied by y is equal to this term as it is you have to write in between this y and bracket multiplied by sign this bracket is multiplied by when they will go that set that become divided by and according to the cramer's rule if you want to write Here some adjustment you have to do. That's why I take out the minus one common because coefficient of here is one, here is also one. I will take out minus one common. Here also coefficient is one, coefficient is one. I will take out minus one common, and from that you will get this as minus a two c one. This minus become plus because if you will take out minus common, that time minus become plus and plus become minus. Here also this plus becomes minus and minus become plus. And after that, you will strike this minus one minus one. That time, a one c two you will write first. After that, a two c one you have to write. That's why right. a one c two minus a two c one and a one b two. A one b two you will write first. After that, a two b one you will write. This one is a two b one. Y is equal to. This is these are the. These are the value of the determinant is given. From that you have to write the determinant. A one you will write here. In cross you will write c two. A two. Uh, C one one will we come up C one A two this one will come up A one and here B two A two B one B one will come up and A one A two will come down here you will not observe the coefficient of y so you have to say that this one is d y you will not observe the constant term this one is y that's why you have to say that y is equal to d y upon d everybody understand means this is the Cramer's rule. How you have to prove the Cramer's rule? This x is equal to dx upon d and y is equal to dy upon d. Everybody understand? For if this method, they will not ask for proving in the exam. So what you have to do? By my easy trick, just you have to concentrate here. Easy trick, you have to keep with this method in mind. You have to say that a b c b a c. A B C B A C upside one two one two one two you have to write here coefficient of constant term is uh, constant term is not given so this this you have to say that the coefficient of x is not here so this one is dx coefficient of y is not here so this one is dy and for finding the value of x you have to say that x is equal to dx upon d and y is equal to dy upon d I think you understand these things. Don't do the confusion. That's why I told first of all the tricky method, and after that I explain the proof. All these things you have to write properly. If you have the doubt at that time personally, you have to send me the message on my WhatsApp. I will explain this method once again. Or if you have the what you have the doubts that you have to tell, I will explain that things properly. 